It's Lori and welcome to the channel. Today is a quick episode on how to use Photoshop to change a selective color in your image. Now you may think that you already know how to do that, but I want to show you a tool that's going to make your color changes absolutely perfection. Let's jump in and get started. So today we're going to work with these tulip images and my idea is I want to change the yellow flowers to more of a pink tone. This is going to be used for a project that I'm working on and the yellow just does not work. So to get started, the first step that you may think right off the bat that you would do is a hue adjustment layer. So let's come down and give that a try. So hue saturation. Now what we can do here is we can go to yellows and then we can change the hue of the yellow. So I want to get it closer to a pink tone. So let's just come over, maybe get it close to red and then I'm going to reduce the saturation, kind of brighten it a little. That gets it closer to pink. Let's kind of work with it there. Okay. So not so bad, but what do you notice? Of course, it has caused the yellow in the rest of my image to be impacted, even in the sky. So at this point, I would have to go to our mask. I would have to grab that black brush and I would have to come in and start bringing back the green that I do not want to lose in this image. I don't want it to look funny and distorted. So. It's a easy step to just change the hue in an image, but it does impact everything in your image because colors are just not isolated. Now there may be a situation where you have an image where you can change one color and it doesn't impact everything else, but it's really rare because greens have yellows in them. They have blues in them. It just really, um, really depends on the color and what's in it. So if you want to process a hue saturation color change using the tool just like I did, just know that you probably are going to need to come in and do a mask. So what I want to show you today is an alternative method to having to go through all that masking. And that method is going to be using a selection mask first. So I'm going to go back in my steps because I actually made this selection earlier for you and I want to save some time today. So I've got our same image, but what I did this time is I actually went up to select and I did a color range. So I did a color range selection and selected the color yellow. Now, even when you do a color range selection, you still may need to adjust it. So I like to come over to the quick adjustment, quick selection tool, grab the minus to remove any areas that got selected that I just don't want. So there was a little spot there. I'm just going to check around the image, double check to see if there's anywhere else that got selected. I think our selection is pretty good. So now that we have this selected, I can come down and do my hue saturation adjustment layer. And it's going to automatically give us a mask with those yellow flowers. So now when we do our hue saturation change, it's only going to impact the yellow flowers, which is great. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and select yellow. Now that's important because what we're going to do is use this color slider at the bottom. And I want to explain this to you. It is an extra step, but it will make your image really beautiful. So what we want to first do is take this right slider and go all the way over. Now that slider is the one that impacts the smoothness of your color transitions. Okay, so think of it that way. Next, what we're going to do is I want you to go ahead and take your hue all the way over and your saturation all the way over. So we're making it really dark. Now what I want to do is I want to start filling in these gaps. So we're going to take this left slider, kind of bring it over, bring this one over. Oh, there we go. Look at all that saturation and paint that's been added. Now, what else does this tell me about this image? It tells me that I missed 
a selection here. So I'm going to have to work on this one later. Um, my selection missed this area and that can happen. So don't let it worry you. You can go back and correct that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just wanting to get this paint as saturated as possible. And it looks like I've achieved that. I'm going to just drag this over. We've got all that color. Now don't worry about the color because we're going to fix that right now. So next, now that you've got the paint really thick, you've opened up the area where the color is going to softly transfer from the edges. Now we can double click our hue, double click our saturation to start back at zero. Now we can come in and get to that beautiful pink that we're looking for. Bring down the saturation a little, bring up the lightness, and there we have it. It saved kind of our highlight area and overall did a beautiful job. Taking that extra step, I did not have to mask all the other greens and yellows in this image. Now you can see that I made a mistake with my selection. So what I can do at this point, if I'm happy with everything else, I'm going to do a stamped layer, command option, shift, and the letter E. Now I'm going to go to my quick selection tool, click the plus sign, and I am just going to come in and get that little yellow petal. Now I'm going to come down do another hue saturation and we're going to follow the same process. We're going to take it all the way over. We are going to open up this left and then we are going to just spread this so that we get it really nice and solid. I always say hue is like paint and you want this to be really thick and nice. Now we're going to double click on our hue, double click on our saturation, and then we can make this a really pretty pink just like the other parts of our flower. There we go. Now we can see just a little edge there that we may want to fix. You can decide if that bothers you. What I would do at this point with this image, I like those colors a lot. I'm going to do another stamped layer, Command Shift Option, the letter E, and then I could just actually use the clone tool. I'm going to make it really small press there and I'm just going to come in and kind of clean that up a little bit. Just that edge of that petal. And I also think where this light is a little heavy, I'm going to take my opacity to about 50% and I'm going to grab that pink color. Just going to kind of go over it. Just in those highlights, I think that looks a little bit better. Yeah, just kind of bringing that in. I'm just going to check all around. So this little light spot is kind of bothering me. So I'm just going to clone that out. And we need to increase our opacity for that. So you're going to have to let me know in the comments if you have ever done color change in this particular method. I think it's really easy as long as you get that selection right the first time. And again, it helps you reduce the amount of time masking. So I hope that you will try this the next time you need to change color in an image. And we're at the end of today's quick session. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a minute to click like, subscribe so that you get more of my videos.